Hi, welcome to JobScoreTech.com. I'm Mike Irving. And I'm Jeff Lander. Today we're going to be replacing the joke valve on a new 29090 or 29120 series manual head. Oh, Mike, why don't you tell the viewers why to replace the joke valve in the first place? Sometimes what you'll find is waste comes back up into the bowl from the discharge line. And you want to kind of replace this about once a year um, as a preventive measure. It certainly would help out. Now what you'll need for this repair are four things. A flathead screwdriver, a pan, a pair of gloves, and a joker valve, which has a part number of a 29092-1000. Again, the part number you'll need for the joker valve is a 29092-1000. One thing to be certain is you're wearing rubber gloves. This is the piece that we're going to be removing, and it's full of waste, so you want to protect yourself. Well, the first thing you want to do is you want to take your pan and slide it underneath the discharge elbow. The reason for this is when I take off this elbow, there could be some residual waste in that hose line. Now, I'm going to take off the two flathead screws, which I have pre-loosened, and now the elbow is free to remove. As you notice, sandwiched inside is the joker valve. So the first thing you want to do after removing the joker valve is examine it. Essentially, you shouldn't be able to see light through here if the joker valve is in good condition. It is okay if you see a very, very small pinhole or a small speck of light. However, if you can see light through the joker valve, it was definitely in need of being replaced. Now that we have our 29092-1000 joker valve handy, it's time to reinstall a new one. Now, reinstallation is pretty simple. All we're doing is we're taking the triangular side and inserting it into the elbow. Now that we have the new joker valve installed, now we're going to line up the discharge flange with the pump assembly. Once you, once you feel those two mate, we simply reinsert the screws hand tighten them, and then finish the job with a flathead screwdriver. So in this video we talked about replacing the joker valve. That was going to be part number 29092-1000. Uh, we made sure that you were wearing gloves to, to, for hygiene. And uh, you got your toilet back up and going again. Thank you for watching JapsCoTech.com. I'm Jeff Lander. I'm Mike Irving. Happy boating.